Uh, hello and welcome to our year six into year seven parents information evening. I hope that you can uh, both see uh, and hear me. Uh, it's a measure of how long we've endured the pandemic that this is not the first time that we have done remote transition, albeit in this year, our second year of remote transition, we are going live for the first time. Of course, by now, this is not by any stretch of the imagination our first live remote event. So I'm optimistic that the technology is all set up and configured to work smoothly. My name is Ben Green and I've been head teacher at the Norton Natural School since September 2019. One of the very first events I attended at the school in the summer of 2019 as head teacher designate was this equivalent evening two years ago. A pre-COVID parents information evening would see me welcoming you in person at the front of the school. The year six into year seven evening is a particular pleasure. It usually coincides with the students having been in school for two days and is a combination of excitement and anxiety in anticipation of the move to big school. And I'm sorry that circumstances mean that we are still unable to greet you in person this evening, but we very much hope that things progress so that we can return to in-person events soon. And we are certainly very much looking forward to welcoming your sons through the gates in September. Joining me this evening is Mr Hoyt, who is as assistant head teacher, uh, has as one of a number of roles, is being linked to year seven uh, as a member of the senior team. And he's also uh, re re retains that link with year eight. So he's linked with year seven and eight. Therefore, he plays a significant role in transition and will regularly feature in your son's daily life over his first two years here. In a moment, we will share with you a recorded presentation which under normal circumstances you would be sat watching in our main hall. If nothing else, the chairs that you are sat on at home this evening are probably a lot more comfortable. At the end of the recording, uh, Mr Hoyt and myself will reappear live to answer questions, which you can enter by clicking on the speech bubble with the question mark icon uh, that should be at the top of your screen. And we hope that this will enable us to answer some of your questions and provide reassurance about how we will manage your son's transition to secondary school. So without further ado, by the wonders of modern technology, we will now move on to the main presentation. Welcome to Norton Nashville. And welcome to our virtual transition presentation. Ordinarily at this time of year, we'd be meeting as an entire year group of New Year Sevens with staff and parents for our first face to face. It's a shame we can't be doing that today. It would normally be a chance to put names to faces. Our hall is empty today, but hopefully we'll be hosting you in it soon. By the time you hear this, we'll have had our online tutorials and made some introductions. Hopefully they've been useful and have made your son feel like his journey into Norton Nashville is underway and it's going to be a good one. So my name's Richard Hoyt. I'm an assistant head teacher and my responsibilities include student wellbeing, safeguarding, behaviour and attendance. I'm also the member of the leadership team that oversees years seven and eight. Primary to secondary school transition is always an exciting time. But we also know it can be a stressful time. Stressful for the boys, but also for the parents, as you want your sons to be successful and happy. Believe me, I do understand. I have two sons who did their transition in Maystone a few years ago. And how time flies. My eldest would be going into his second year at university in September, whilst the younger one is waiting for his results in August before making that transition this year. This year is, of course, unlike any we've, uh, other we've known. It's had a new set of challenges that we've all had to rise to. But we're confident that between us, we'll continue to rise to them and we'll make it all work. We've all had to learn new ways of doing things, but all along the way, there are lots of people here to help. Your so sons met their form tutor earlier today. Form tutors are the daily point of contact for the boys. Boys should go to them first with any issues. Each form also has a form prefect. These students are there to help with any issues that come up. They've been there and done it themselves, so they can be of great help to the boys. Mrs Parsonage is the student support manager for year seven. She's not a teacher, so she's available all the time. The boys can also see her with anything that's bothering them. If you're ringing in as a parent, it would be Mrs Parsonage you speak to in the first instance. For any additional needs, as well as working with Mrs Parsonage, you might also work with our AEN department led by Mr Utton. Mr Utton is organising an extra induction session for some of our students with additional needs on Thursday the 2nd of September. He'll be in touch with the parents of those students individually. Here's a reminder of the other parts of our transition. 
There are lots of big changes to get used to when you move to your secondary school. Lots of different subjects and teachers, lots of where's and when's to remember. We have a two week timetable. There are room changes every lesson, a bag to pack with a variety of equipment every day and more homework. The solution is organization and routine. One helpful and organized thing to do is to put your son's name on absolutely everything. Please do be involved with what they're doing. Do check that they're organized, but don't do it for them. They need to develop that independence. Develop a routine. Time spent early in establishing habits of work and independence will save time, heartache and battles in the long run. One system we have that really helps with organization is our online homework system. This is called Satchel One. All homeworks are put on this by the teachers and students and parents can access this remotely. There's a link to this on the school website, along with many other things. Here's the school website. In the top left, you'll find a drop down list of our portals. Click on the parents one. If you scroll down, you come to a, a icons for a range of things. Satchel one is one of these. And there's also one called Scope A, where you can pay for trips or events or other things. And we've got one for parents evening bookings. There's apps for some of these things as well. So there's certainly an app for Satchel One. There'll be more information about how to use this system in September. Do explore our website to discover more. A lot of our communication with you will also be using online systems. It's therefore really important that we have correct email and mobile numbers. Another of our electronic systems links to our canteen service. Your sons will need fueling to get them through the day. They can, of course, bring a packed lunch and snacks with water coolers for them to top up their bottles all around the school. Our canteen, the Natch Hatch, runs a cashless system. You can put money on your child's account online. We have a biometric thumbprint system, so you put money on your son's thumb. We don't have their thumbprints yet, so for the first couple of weeks, cash will be accepted. We'll contact you in September with more information about setting up your son's account. Now let's take a break from me for a moment and hear from one of this year's Year 7s talking about his experience. Meet Edward. On the lead up to coming to North Oak Natural, I couldn't have been more excited to start, even though it's very hard to say goodbye to my primary school. When I first started, it wasn't exactly what I would have expected, to be honest. Since I didn't think that I would have had, had most of our lessons in our form room, or to be wearing our mask throughout the day. But nevertheless, the teachers couldn't have been more supportive and welcoming to us. Joining the school, I was quite worried about homework, uh, how it would be set and how we could get it done. But as the school uses a very simple system called Satchel One, or Show My Homework as we call it. When, te when teachers set tasks, homework or quizzes, it shows up in the to-do section which date with the date it was set and the due date. Such a one helps students to simply and easily see what they must do and help, on, help them to manage it. When I first started the Northern Natural, I was worried about making friends. It was easy once I got to know my classmates in form time and at break time and at lunch. A few weeks into the, into the school year, my class voted for me as form leader with my deputy form captain, Will Reader, in which we chose members of the class to represent our form in different sporting events, such as house football, house hockey and house cricket, and later in the year, music and drama. All of these events could be an opportunity to earn points for your house. Some of the highlights of the year for me personally was learning about and reading the novel Boy in the Striped Pajamas by John Boyne, since our teacher Mr Chalkley helped us analyse the characteristics of each person or to draw comparisons between them. In addition to that, our PE teacher this year, Mr Utton, helps us to stay active in different sports like football, basketball, tennis and cricket, just to name a few. I have also enjoyed learning the basics to coding and computer science with Mrs Eldridge, who scratch and make code systems using the micro bits, and then going on to make and run spreadsheets using formulas. From, from now on, I am nearly finishing year seven and I have thoroughly enjoyed it, and I am very much looking forward to going into year eight and continuing my journey at Norton Natchville. Thanks, Edward. There'll be quite an adjustment period when your son joins us. He'll be very tired to begin with. Travel's a big part of this. A lot of, lots of boys might have gone just round the corner to their primary school, but some of them will now have journeys of up to an hour each way. The day's much longer. Bus passes. If you're intending to get a Kent Young Persons Travel Pass, you need to get on the KCC website to buy it. If done by the 1st of August, you sh they should be here in school for your son to collect on the first day in September. 
You'll receive information about this in your pack. With over 1,200 students at Northern Natural, it's not possible for you to drop off or pick up your son on the school site in the normal run of things. It's just too busy and it would cause a major traffic jam. This has been identified as a significant health and safety risk due to the volume of cars and pedestrians at these pressure points. You should drop children off and or pick them up a little distance away from the school uh, in order to avoid congestion and minimise the risk of accidents. Anyway, with anyone wishing to access the site for the purposes of an appointment during the school day must use the intercom system at our electronic gates. If we'd had our taster days this year, one of the things we would have talked about a few times with the boys would be our basic expectations. This is summed up by a poster that's displayed in all our classrooms. These are our behaviour for learning rules. Show respect to everyone in the classroom. Listen to others, do not talk when others are talking. Always follow instructions from a member of staff. Always aim to do your best. Bring all necessary equipment to your lessons. Do your homework on time. If these basic expectations are mastered, you can't go far wrong. We really look forward to meeting you all in person and getting to know you over the years to come. Boys, we'll see you on Friday the 3rd of September. Please come in the main entrance and straight into the main hall. Parents, hopefully later in September, we'll asking you, be asking you to do the same for an information event. Goodbye for now and take care and stay safe. So I hope that that was a useful uh, overview of some of the uh, things that will be happening over the weeks and the months uh, ahead. Uh, I, I do apologise for the uh, slight glitch uh, and the freezing of the, uh, the, the, the the film at the start there. We will uh, we will post that on our website and via social media uh, tomorrow, along with also the presentation uh, that we did earlier with the students, because again, I think there were some uh, technical glitches uh, with that as well. Um, so myself and Mr Hoyt are able now to uh, respond to uh, questions uh, and I can see one or two questions are beginning to appear. So you uh, will you can type those questions in by clicking on the uh, the icon with the question mark uh, at the top of your screen and we will begin to work through and answer uh, your questions. Uh, so the first question that we've got there is in relation to the workbooklets that were mentioned in the tutor session. Uh, they were put into the post today, uh, so they should be with you uh, within the next uh, within the next day or so. Um, and if you haven't received them by the end of the week, then do contact the school um, so we can find out what's happened there. Uh, and uh, also that same question asks about uh, the tutor session. So and, and as I say, we will be put in all of that information and recordings uh, of that of those sessions or, or the presentation uh, onto our website and our social media uh, field uh, feed. Uh, there's a question about the uh, the cycle path, uh, the cycling to school. Um, so yes, absolutely. The the site, the cycle path and the rear gate uh, is actually where we want all of our cyclists uh, to come in and out uh, of school when they're traveling to and from school by by bike. Uh, we've, we've relocated our cycle sheds to the back of the school so that that is the uh, the cycle uh, access for coming into school and out of school. Uh, it's, it, it's a lot, lot safer, as I'm sure you'll appreciate, uh, than cyclists entering onto uh, uh, entering and exiting onto Hyde Road. Uh, and so that's it, next one? Yes, Mr. So Hoyt, if they, uh, the question about do they have the same form tutor from year 7 to 11, it is definitely something we like to do to add that continuity to take students through um, with their form from joining the school all the way through to their GCSEs. It doesn't always happen because uh, some staff's roles change, some staff leave, uh, but we do in general like to have that, that continuity. Um, next question about my son being allowed to wait on school uh, at the end of each day for his older brother. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Um, we have a staggered leaving time. We've had this year three different times where, which is staggered for students leaving. Uh, we're looking to keep a, a stagger going, but it'll only be a five minute difference. So years uh, seven, eight, nine and ten will leave at one time and we'll publicise publicize this to everybody. And years 11 and sixth form will leave five minutes later. But there's absolutely no problem with people waiting uh, for a friend or for their elder brother to walk home with. Uh, the next question that I can see there is about our behaviour and achievement point system. Um, yes, um, students will, um, their, their behaviour will be acknowledged uh, and recognised and I'm, I'm delighted to say that the, 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 the 
the number of positive behaviour acknowledgements far, far outnumbers um, behaviour concerns. I don't know, Mr Hoyt, you've probably got some idea of some, you know, the, 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 the ratios there, but it, it far outnumbers. I, I would say it's something like about one to ten. So a, a typical form at the moment might have about uh, 2,000 uh, achievement points, but less than 200 um, behaviour points so across the whole year. That's, that's pretty good going. And is that the question there also, do we have an app that links to that? Yes, uh, one of the apps which will we'll send information to you about MyEd, um, it's called. You can on that app get information so and you can set it with alerts as well. So each time uh, your son achieves something and gets a, an achievement point, you, you would get a, a, a notification there. And the same with a behaviour point, which is obviously very useful. And the attendance goes on that app as well. OK, the question, uh, there's a question about homework clubs, um, and this is something that we are very much looking forward to uh, re re returning next year. It's something that we've not been able to do this year under uh, the, the, the COVID restrictions, and that is something that we are looking to be returning to next year so that there will be uh, provision for an hour after school each day uh, for students to be working uh, on their homework. There's uh, the next question is about summer activity uh, weeks for uh, year seven. That is something that we considered, um, but we, uh, the, we, we, we have decided not to um, do that. Uh, there were a number of concerns there. One was that it wouldn't be comprehensive uh, insofar as our normal induction, that not everybody would be able to attend uh, at the right time. And that was a combination of students and staff. Um, and, and to some degree, therefore, that would um, defeat the object. Um, we do know from the work that we did with our new year sevens this year that they, they will adapt uh, very quickly. Um, we, have, we are having a dedicated day uh, in September, Friday the 3rd of September, when it will just be year seven along with uh, our new year 12 students in school, which will act as an induction day. Um, and I also know um, that I do know a number of other schools are uh, doing various uh, summer school programmes. Uh, many of them are rethinking and reframing them uh, in the light of the recent uplifting COVID cases. So there's a range of reasons why uh, we decided not to um, adopt that approach, but we are confident that the, the measures and the framework that we've got uh, will support our students. And as Mr Hoyt mentioned in the earlier presentation, uh, uh, Mr Artin will be doing an additional session uh, in that first week of September for our, our AEM students. Got a couple of questions relating to the buying of uniform. Uh, one of them asking, are we still doing the uniform sale in the same way? Now, the, the same way for those who, who aren't aware was on this this evening when we have the transition uh, meeting with parents. If When we've been able to do that in person, we've had the presentation in the sports hall and we've also had the uniform sale with one of the companies who sell the uniform coming in and selling, selling that in the main hall. As we're not having an in-person session, no, we're not doing it in exactly the same way. Um, and so we're not hosting a uniform sale here at school. But in the pack that you uh, will be receiving this week, there is information about the uniform shop that they have in Ashford. Uh, and we do also have online suppliers as well for uniform. So a question about the, uh, the times of the school day. So the school day uh, starts at 8.45 uh, and for year seven finishes at 3.15 uh, in the afternoon. Um, there's another question there about is there any requirement to purchase school laptops uh, and iPads? That is not something um, that, 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 that we require um, and, and, and it's not, as I, I know some schools, uh, they have a sort of central school system where everybody um, works from and uses the same device, uh, but we don't have, uh, we don't do anything like that and there's no requirement from our part that you purchase a particular uh, machine uh, or tablet. There's a question, is their form also their class or do they have different classes for different subjects? Yes, the, their form is the, the group of students, their form, their class that they will, will be spending uh, the vast majority of their day with in, in their lessons. Um, and that is for years seven and eight. After that, when they've ch chosen their GCSE options, they would be mixed with other uh, students from other classes who have picked those option subjects. Next question uh, is about the, uh, is there going to be a homework task given over the summer? And, and, that, and that should become e uh, clear in the pack that you receive over the next day or so. Um, so that, it, that within that pack, there is some work that we're asking the students to engage with uh, in the core subjects, English, maths 
and science. And there's a there's, there's a booklet and a pamphlet uh, for each of those subjects that is in the pack that should arrive in the post uh, over the next day or so. I'll just add to that. For the maths one, there are two booklets. One's an, a question booklet, one's an answer booklet. Uh, the instructions are on the, the maths booklet, but really what that is all about is uh, preparing the students for there's some very basic assessments that we'll do with them in September um, and we want them to work through these booklets and now usually you follow the instructions that are on the booklets and, and use the answer booklets to help as well. We are also um, sending the same pack with the work booklets to your son's primary school so they can look at them with the, the, uh, the classes before the end of this, this school year. It's a question about mobile phones. Uh, the the approach to mobile phones is that we are um, educating our, uh, our young men uh, to be responsible users of technology and that includes uh, that includes their mobile phone. So the general expectation would be in class, in lessons, uh, that they are off and away uh, unless a teacher um, has a particular uh, you know, you know, requirement in terms of their planned learning uh, and they might sort of say actually, um, you know, boys get your phones out. Um, because there's a particular thing, uh, some subjects they, they will, they, there are certain apps that they will ask the boys uh, to download. There might be some basic kind of quiz or testing apps. Um, so, so mobile phones in general would be off and away in lessons uh, unless the teacher wants to uh, deploy those as part of a planned learning activity. Uh, and at break and lunch time, uh, the, 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 the students are, uh, are allowed in their social time uh, to use their phones, but obviously it goes without saying uh, that on those rare, very rare occasions where they perhaps are misusing them uh, in terms of uh, perhaps inappropriate behaviour via social media and so forth, then you know there are consequences uh, in terms of our behaviour framework in, in, in that regard. Um, but, but we believe that that's a sensible, mature approach uh, to, 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 to mobile phones. Uh, I'm obviously very much aware that that is um, a hot topic in the media uh, at the moment. The question about can you have more than one child set up on Scope is yes, you can. Um, the inf information that you'll get explaining how to use Scope will explain that, and when you register and log in, it should become clear. Uh, the question about bringing PE kits for the transition day no, that won't be necessary. On that very first uh, day, it's very useful that we've got them in just as, as the year group. They will uh, have uh, an, an assembly. Um, and we'll introduce them to the school, go through some of our arrangements, which we really would have liked to have done today with it on the taste today, but we'll do that in, in a, an extended assembly on the first day. Um, and then they will go off to their, their timetabled lessons. They'll get their timetables on that day. And if, if it just so happens that PE is one of their lessons on that day, it will be a, a session where we, we talk through expectations and what we do in PE, uh, and they wouldn't be needing PE kit to do um, a, a practical lesson on that day. It's a question about homework and is all homework done online or will some be handwritten so to, to, to be clear the all of our homework will be set online in terms of uh, the satchel one app that mr hoyt referred to earlier which makes clear what the task is uh, but that doesn't mean that all homework is done online uh, some, some will be done online uh, but equally some will be done and, and much of it will be done in students exercise books uh, so they are still going to be writing things uh, out by hand which is obviously no bad thing given uh, the uh, the external exams that they'll sit in a few years time. Uh, there will be a list of uh, equipment that is required um, if you that, that will be in the pack uh, or, or, or one of the information packs that you'll be receiving uh, if you haven't already. And similarly, there'll be information in the pack about buses and um, that there, there's a, a, an information leaflet there. And you can also go onto the KCC website um, if you're looking to buy a school, uh, a young person's bus pass. And if you, so if you put that straight into your, your search engine on, online, uh, KCC school bus pass, you'll find that website. And there's lots more information about routes and, and things of, of ways of getting to school there as well. It's a question about PE days. Do children come in their PE kits or do they get changed at school? Uh, and again, that's another element uh, where we have uh, this year because of the COVID restrictions, students have come in to school wearing their PE kit when they've had days when they've got PE on their timetable. Uh, but we will be and we're hoping and expecting that we get the green light from the government to lift most of those restrictions. Uh, and that is one that we would anticipate uh, going back to the students coming in their school uniform 
and getting changed in the PE changing rooms next year. Um, now, with regard to that um, and, and, and the precise arrangements uh, for September, you'll be aware uh, that we are, you know, we, I, th I think within education, we've got a set of expectations about uh, the direction of travel in September and that a lot of the restrictions will be lifted. We haven't yet had uh, that kind of officially uh, and in terms of what may or may not remain to a degree. Um, but what we will be doing is communicating, uh, and this may be over the summer uh, as, as it was last year, but we will communicate in great detail uh, the, you know, the, the, the standard operating framework that we will be operating from September uh, and if necessary, as I say, that will be over the summer. We had to do that last year uh, and I suspect to a degree uh, that that will be the case uh, this year. But quite, but quite soon, you uh, as, as year six parents coming into year seven, you will start to receive um, kind of whole school mailings uh, that we are sending to the rest of the school because increasingly um, you know that information is going to be pertinent to you because it will be about uh, arrangements and so forth uh, next year. And, and similarly linked to that, uh, there's a question um, uh, that, that, that relates to school trips. Will children study in French, get a trip to France, COVID willing? Um, I mean, co co COVID willing, um, you know, we look forward next year to uh, restarting uh, our rich range um, of extracurricular trips and visits uh, and, and, and that includes a number of opportunities or, or has in the past included a number of opportunities uh, to go overseas. Uh, within our, um, our trips and visits uh, framework and policy, uh, we are making sure that there are COVID risk assessments in place uh, and, a, and of course an additional element that we have to bear in mind with any trips now going to Europe is uh, arrangements and additional things that we have to do um, post Brexit but we do very much look forward uh, to uh, trips uh, starting again. A question here about if the school day finishes at 3.15 but transport is until a bit later is there anywhere to in school they can wait? Yes as, as Mr Green has referred to after school there will be the opportunity to to stay and uh, we have a homework club so if some a student is, is wanting to stay and do some work if they've got an extended period to wait before they, they can get picked up we can get get some work done that's in the library um, and there will be a member of staff there to support if they, they've got any questions about their homework if it's a, a little bit of a shorter wait uh, we they can be waiting in their uh, year group area um, which will be uh, supervised by the student support manager for each year group uh, there's a question asking about the new building that's going up at the front of the school. Um, it, it, it is due to open in September. Uh, we hopefully take possession of that at the end of July, which gives us time to complete uh, the installation of furniture and so forth and all the snagging. So we are very much looking forward uh, to the uh, the new digital learning centre opening at the front of the school in September. So your your sons will uh, will be the beneficiaries of that all the way through. So that's uh, that's. Uh, two new brand new science laboratories on the ground floor uh, and three computing rooms uh, on the first floor. We, yes, we are hoping that um, when the, the COVID restrictions are lifted, the boys will be walking around the school as normal. Uh, this year, as you'll be aware, they've been very much in, in a year group bubble and having the, most of their lessons, the teachers come to them and they are in their single classroom where they're based. Um, but we're, we're very pleased that well, we hope we are when we can go back to the system where they can go off to the science labs for their science lesson, to the art rooms for their art, art lesson and so forth with, with, with all the, the rest of the departments around the school. So we should be able to get back to that. Uh, another question um, on the third, will they be the only year group in, in school? We are hoping to have year 12 in as well because it, it, they, they're going through a transition as well. So a lot of the year 12 coming in to uh, start their new courses and many of them are new to the school as they join us from other local schools. So yes, on the third, it's just year seven and year 12. There's a question asking, do the majority of boys stay on to do A-levels? Um, and, and that is the case. And it's very much our hope uh, that as many as possible uh, of your sons uh, in five years time. And I know that seems a tremendous uh, uh, time uh, way in the future, but uh, the next five years will go very rapidly. But we do very much hope and expect uh, that your sons are joining us on a seven year journey. I think it's fair to say uh, that at the end of year 11, some do go elsewhere, particularly uh, you know, students develop interests uh, in areas and, uh, and, and courses that perhaps we don't, uh, that, that, that we don't offer. Um, but our hope is very much that the majority of boys um, stay for A-levels. There's a question about uh, parents having a chance to look around the school at some point. Um, 
and 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 we can't wait to get you in um to be honest and uh the our usual um program um would be in september and i very much hope that this is the case that we have a series of parent information evenings uh where um on different nights parents of boys um, in, 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 in each year group are invited into school. Uh, they meet with the year team. Uh, it, it's led by our achievement leaders, the student support managers are there, members of the senior team. Um, and, and we are very much hoping uh, that come September uh, that we can return to having those uh, having those evenings um, so that we can actually you know, have these conversations face to face uh, once again. There are a couple of questions that are repeat, but I'm aware people may have had you know, difficulty hearing things if they've got a technical issue with their, their broadband or may have joined late. Question about uniform. Uh, yes, you'll you'll receive information about the, our uniform uh, vendors in, in the pack that's coming in the post at the moment. Uh, another question about will the boys stay in their form groups throughout the day? Yes, their, their form is their class and they go to their lessons um, as a group. And that's certainly for year seven and eight. After that, they, they pick their GCSE, GCSE options and maybe with, with different classes. Uh, I've got, I'm going to I'm going to bow to Mr. Hoyts. Um, I'm going to check this answer with him. Um, I, I believe that the the gates open for the students at eight o'clock in the morning. They do. Uh, and so boys um, start to come on site uh, at eight o'clock. Um, it, it tends to be a, a, a trickle at that point. I think most boys arrive around 8.30, give or take five minutes either side. I think that's when we start to get uh, start to get really busy. Uh, there's another again, again another repeat of a question about uh, an electronic device. Boy, the students don't do. We, we don't ask or require that the students bring uh, an iPad or a laptop. A specific question about uh, is there a bus picking up from Ruckinge? There, I know there are boys who do come from that area, and uh, I believe they come on the bus. The specific information about the bus routes you need to get from the bus companies. And there is bus company information coming out in the pack to you. Uh, it's a question about whether there's a colour code for each community and that is something that we've introduced this year um, just to, to help us maintain the uh, you know the, the, the year group bubbles or zones and we introduced a coloured uh, badge for each year group, a different colour badge for each year group uh, and, and, and that is something actually that we're going to continue with uh, next year uh, and, and beyond the COVID restrictions because we've actually found that that's really useful uh, you know when, when you are walking around the school because you, you know, immediately you can identify uh, the year group that the, uh, the, the, the students are in so we will be uh, continuing uh, with that. How much is the average lunch? Now that depends very much on how much your your son, uh, how hungry he is and how much he's, he's going to eat. And also on, on you, um, we talked about the um, canteen system where you, you can pay online and it goes, um, they, they then go to the canteen and purchase it using their thumb, biometric print. Um, you can set a limit on how much they spend on a daily basis and you can also set up so that you can see what they're getting. You can see how many cookies and donuts they might have got. Uh, rather than the healthy options. Um, as far as how much an average lunch costs, main meal of the day, is, I, I believe, is £2.50. But it, it, obviously there's a, there's a range of things they can get. There are a regular main meal. Um, the, the menus, uh, the current menus, and I imagine that they'll be similar, but they might change slightly. They are on the website. Um, Kachina are our, our company providing the, the canteen services. And they are, are excellent. The food is very, very good. And it's a, a rolling program across three weeks of what's on the menu um, and that most options are very very popular and also always as well as the main meal options there are there's a variety of um, more snack type options pasta pots and, and pizzas um, and fruit and salads um, and, and various drinks available as well. It's a question about homework um, and we are just in the process of finalising a review uh, which we'll be sharing with you in terms of our approach to homework um, and that is trying to uh, sort of frame the expectations in terms of the amount of homework uh, that students should get um, so you know in, a, and it should be uh, in the region of an hour or so per subject per week um, it won't be set on an absolute precise timetable so it won't always be uh, the same lesson uh, when history homework is set, for example. Uh, but one of the things that we will that we're looking to build into that um, is to try to uh, avoid homework being set for the next day. So we, we, we're just putting the finishing touches on that 
Um, so to make sure that when homework is set, that there's at least a couple of days uh, wherever possible before it's due in, just to reflect the fact that, you know, you know boys sometimes have different commitments after school, if, particularly if they're representing the school in the fixture or something, uh, and sometimes, you know, complicated journeys home. Uh, so we are just going through a kind of final revision uh, of our approach to homework that we'll be sharing uh, with you in due course. The next couple of questions actually relate to, to sports and activities after school. We, we aim in, in the first few weeks of, of term in September to put together a list of the various different activities that are available to the boys in, in all the various different year groups and we, we'd aim to send that out as well. Um, we, but we want them starting to take part as soon as they can uh, and certainly within the first few weeks we, we have things like the year seven football trials um, and, and as, as we go through the year the different activities that are on offer, certainly from the P department, the activities differ from season to season, uh, but we, we do cover an awful lot of things, but it's not just sports. Uh, they will be able to take part in activities in other subjects as well, um, uh, DT, science, uh, maths, there's, there's various different activities that are will be on offer. But as I say, we, we look to publish a list of those in the first few weeks of term. Uh, there's a couple of um, COVID related questions and um, I'm sure uh, like you, I'm very much hoping that uh, the you know our lives are less dominated by COVID uh, in the months to come, but I think we probably have to recognise um, that we're not fully out of the woods yet. Uh, so there's a question about in the event of another lockdown, will boys continue their classes online? Um, I mean, I'm sure um, you'll join me in hoping that there isn't another lockdown, but um, we, we've been bitten by that twice now. Uh, but yes, that would be our uh, expectation uh, that we would continue with classes online. Uh, which is what we did in our most recent uh, lockdown uh, and also we provided a significant number of students uh, with electronic devices in order to do so uh, if that was an issue and that would be my expectation um, were heaven for fend we to find ourselves in that situation again. Uh, there's a question about masks um, and again I hope come September uh, that the, the, the guidance and the situation will be uh, perhaps that you know we, 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 we are wearing we're not wearing masks in the same way that we are now for what it's worth at the moment um, our students are still when moving around inside school uh, they are still wearing masks uh, when they're sat in their lessons uh, it is up to them and I, it, it's interesting I think uh, approximately half the boys uh, do carry on wearing their masks at all time indoors uh, half when they're sat in a lesson once they're sat down uh, they, they, they do remove their masks um, we will be guided by the government uh, in terms of the detail on that. My hope is uh, that we are approaching um, come September a point where you know the, the masks are perhaps less part of our daily uh, daily routine because they certainly uh, they do mitigate uh, against those conversations uh, that, 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 that we have. We've, we've been asked do we use SIMS parent? Uh, we certainly use SIMS, it's our information system here at school but we don't use the parent option. Uh, instead of that, we is it, Sims feeds one of our other apps that we do use, MyEd, and through that, um, the, the information that you might get if somebody's been used to using Sims Parent can be very similar. You, as I said earlier, you can hear uh, the information, you get notifications on achievements, behaviour, and attendance in there. Uh, there's a question about uh, children coming to the school by train. Um, there are a number of children that come to school by train um, and, and, and across the different routes in and out of Ashford. Uh, and I think I've, and I've walked to the station a couple of times myself from school. Um, it's, it's, it's about a 15 minute walk, um, 10 if you really put a push on. Uh, but a number of students do come by train. Uh, not, not that many, um, but it, there's a fair chance that if your son is getting, coming to school by train, that there will be one or two others um, on, on that same train, getting on at some station or the other and doing that same walk? Yes, uh, in answer to the question, will you get emailed links for, for our various apps? Yes, that, that's information that you will come. Some of it will come in the, the pack that you'll be getting in the post, um, but other information will, as we use a lot of our communication is all electronic, you'll get information about apps uh, in our electronic communications. And obviously you can then uh, sign up and register for those apps as well. Um, Somebody's asked about the, uh, receiving two tutor names via email. That is be because one of our forms is a shared uh, tutor group with, with two members of staff, experienced part-time members of staff. That's Mrs. Freer and uh, Mrs. Turner. Mrs. Turner took that uh, tutorial at four o'clock today. Um, but the, that, that's the reason you've got two form tutor names is because they do have two form tutors, but they, they share it out throughout the week. And, and just uh, I, I realised I think there was a uh, an admin error earlier where 
uh, a, a link was resent out and it should only have been sent to a small group of parents and it went to a number uh, which may have caused some confusion uh, over the form tutors uh, and, and the sessions that run this afternoon. So I'll make a note and we will resend out uh, the information about uh, form tutors just so that we can avoid uh, any, any, any confusion there. Uh, there's there's a there's a question about streaming um, and 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 we, we at the moment we haven't got any streaming uh, as the students go through uh, year seven and eight uh, when they go into their GCSE uh, classes uh, again we don't have streaming as such but there's uh, there, there are slightly different approaches that are taken uh, to, to to reflect uh, certainly in maths uh, our more able mathematicians uh, at the end of uh, year nine going into year ten. Uh, we, we identify them and there's an additional uh, qualification that we do. It's a kind of equivalent to a further maths GCSE. Uh, and then also in science, uh, there sometimes are some changes between, uh, you know, the individual triple sciences, biology, physics and chemistry uh, and combined double science. Question about the level of homework. Um, and my son gets very little currently, so it may be a shock. Yes, that, that is often um, one of the things that uh, certainly worries some of the boys in coming to to, uh, to secondary school and, and in particular to a grammar school is is the amount of homework that they might get and it is undoubtedly going to be more than they, they're used to a primary school uh, in the main um, the, the level of, obviously we, we we don't want to overload them and certainly from the beginning um, we, we, we will be setting homework um, but we'll be being uh, generous in in uh, the, the way that they get it back to us while they get used to that system and, and the, but the satchel one app um, which obviously you can have the par parents have access to it the students can have, have access to it whether that's on a, a device a, a smartphone um, as an app on there or on on a laptop a computer at home is, is extremely helpful and it helps them to stay well on top of it with their organization and um, meeting deadlines um, and you can see it as well and and the fact that it's been put on there by the teacher makes it really, really clear to them and you what is set, uh, rather than uh, previous systems we've had where they they've written it down themselves in a homework diary and, and may not have written all of it um, and may not be able to understand what they wrote later. But it's very clear. But and, and you have access to it as much as they have, so you, you can be well involved in making helping them get it done. Uh, there's a question about uh, are there still plans to build a new sports complex, 4G pitches, etc. Um, we, we certainly have uh, an outline of a kind of vision uh, for some land that we have that we would like to develop uh, a new sports complex, um, uh, sports centre, uh, pitches and so forth. Um, and, and, and certainly the plans aren't the issue, as you can perhaps imagine uh, the funding is, but that's certainly something uh, that we've still got an eye on looking to develop um, over, over the years to come. Um, and, and, and perhaps um, you know, that might be something um, you know, that, uh, that, that your sons do benefit from uh, over the next five to seven years. So certainly we've got a kind of outline plan um, but uh, nothing more than that until we can line that up with the funding. Bus passes, I mentioned earlier, you can order them on, on KCC's website for, for bus passes. Um, and the question, will they be ready on the 3rd um, of September? Uh, uh, what I, I read on the website earlier on, it's um, they've set this year the deadline of the 1st of August. And, and what it says on their website is if you apply for the bus pass by the 1st of August, it should be at your son's school to collect on the first day of term. In my experience, it, it, then generally that, that is what happens, um, but not in every case. Um, but you should, once, once you've applied for it with, with KCC, they would, you get a response from them. And certainly this was the case when, when my sons did it. Um, you, you have an email and you can print that off as, as proof that one has been uh, applied for and then show that to the bus driver. Um, and that sh it should be OK until their, their bus pass does arrive in school. Uh, there's a question about uh, medication um, and, with, and the particular example that's used is an uh, asthma inhaler. I mean, many of our students will carry their own uh, asthma inhaler. If you have, if your son has particular um, um, you know, medical needs, um, you know, with, with, with medication that needs to be um, stored with a member of staff, then again, that's something that we would ask you um, to contact us about so that we can make sure that we're making uh, the arrangements and we've got the appropriate um, uh, sorry, healthcare plan uh, in place. And, and in relation to that and actually any other 
really specific queries and inquiries that you might have about your son um, that, 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 that it's not appropriate to um, discuss in this forum. If you email the school uh, using the email address information at nks.kent dot sch dot uk uh, with with a particular query then we will make sure that that is forwarded uh, to the relevant member of staff so that that can be followed up and if, if you weren't quick enough to write down that email address that mr mr green just rattled off for you um it's the email address that you would have had your links sent to you from uh, by that email address so you can uh, use that one to, to inform us of things like that there's a question about parents evenings about children's progress uh, and yes uh, we have um, uh, there, there, there'll be three points in the year where you get information uh, about your son's progress. Um, two of those points will be in the form of uh, you know, internally generated data uh, and a school report. Uh, and then the third will be a parents evening uh, and we'll share that calendar uh, of events uh, late, later uh, in, in, in the run up to September. A question about where students can spend their break and lunch times. Uh, this year has been very different and we're hoping to move away from, from the system. This year they've had very specifically, they, they spend their breaks in their form room with their form, that's their bubble. Um, as we move into next year, we're intending that their each, each year group, um, each form group will have a designated indoor space um, and a designated outdoor space where they can obviously get out and get some fresh air, which we, we would encourage them to do. And the indoor spaces are our large indoor um, areas uh, central to the school, the main hall um, and the canteen are areas where they can go. So yes, they've all got a, a designated space indoor and outdoor. There's a couple of questions about the timetable. Uh, so the timetable is something that students will get on day one uh, in September. Uh, Link to the timetable, there's a question about music. Is that part of the curriculum in the school? And yes, that is. Uh, and that will that will appear uh, on your son's timetable uh, that he uh, that he will receive. There's a specific question about trampolining that I'm going to defer to Mr Hoyt because he's, uh, his teaching subject is PE. Yes, unfortunately, no, we, we don't cover trampolining. We do have a very broad curriculum. We do many, many sports in PE, but trampolining is unfortunately not one of them. Uh, there's a couple of questions about lockers. Uh, and again, that's uh, that's another element that, uh, of our operation that we've had to suspend this year because of COVID. Uh, and we will be looking uh, to uh, restart our lockers uh, or you know, to provide the facility for lockers for students uh, next year and we'll share that information uh, in September. Uh, there's a question about year uh, about GCSE options. Uh, people already begin to think ahead. Uh, there will be information on our uh, on our website about that. Uh, there is a curriculum page uh, on the website and you can find out there about the GCSE options uh, and then obviously the, the specifics for uh, your, your, your son's particular year group. Uh, we really pick that up as they are in year eight uh, as they make those choices uh, at the end of year eight. Will they have a tour of the school in September? When they join us on September the, the 3rd, it, it'll be rather like a taste they would have been had we been having it today and tomorrow. Um, and we would will have uh, some of our older students prefects there who will take the groups round. Um, and so if, if a class has a science lesson in a particular science lab, then the, the prefect would take them and deliver them to that lesson and then collect them later and then take them to their maths lesson or their geography lesson. So throughout that, they, they will um, be, be given a good direction around the school. They'll also, in the packs they're getting this week, they do have a map. We do suggest you hang on to that and make sure they bring it with them um, in the new term. Um, and they, they generally find their way around the school and the buildings very, very quickly, um, especially with the map. But and every now and again, a student might get lost, but usually they don't get lost on their own. They might get lost with a few of them and it turns into a bit of an adventure as they try and find where they need to be. And, and in the first few weeks of term, we, we expect that. And, and it's part of the discovery process and discovery learning for them as they learn their way around the school. There's a question about books that we would recommend for children in preparation for year seven start. Um, that, I mean, there is some information, as I've said, in the core subjects um, that, 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 that specifies, uh, you know, some work that we ask them to engage in uh, and, and we'll outline perhaps some other things uh, to, 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 to look at and perhaps explore, um, but not perhaps a book list as such. There's a question uh, about what happens if a child doesn't have a phone or a smartphone. Um, it, 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 there are some, you know, there, and, and, and in many ways I, as, as a parent now, 
um, of, of, of two goals in their early 20s. Um, I, I wished I'd held out uh, on smartphones longer than I did. Um, I, I, some of our students don't come uh, to school with a smartphone. Um, you, you know, for, for, for many of them, it's a for some of them, I think it's a sort of a, a, just an additional thing they don't want to have to worry about or worry about losing or so forth. Um, and, and though all of those students find a way around it. It may be that they're logging on um, to, you know, to a computer at home to access the homework uh, and, and, and to do the work. Uh, and in some cases, I know, um, you know, it's a case that actually the parent, uh, you know, has got the phone uh, and, and they've got the app and so forth. So, um, you know, where, where a student doesn't come with a, a smartphone, it's certainly our experience that they, you know, they, they, they found a workable alternative um, that, 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 that works for them. Uh, there's a question about uh, the lateral flow test before the uh, the, the, the transition. Um, it's another area, I'm afraid, where we await guidance from uh, from from the government in terms of will there be an expectation of lateral flow testing uh, in September? Again, it's something that's been uh, picked up in the media this week, uh, and I have to say um, that w that when you hear and read that media speculation um, about what's going to happen in schools, uh, then 99% of the time we are reading that. Uh, at the same time as you, and we really don't know anything more. Uh, but as soon as we do, uh, we will share. We will share that with you. Uh, is it possible to change forms um, from year to year? We we generally try to avoid that. It's it's useful that they they stay in the same form um, as much as possible. It, on on some odd occasions, we we do feel there is a need, and it might be beneficial for somebody to change form. But, but we really we don't tend to, to do that as much as we possibly can because it, it helps them to stay with the same people and have that continuity. Uh, there's a particular question about uh, design and technology. Uh, and, and yes, we do rotate the students through year seven and eight uh, through different design and technology um, packages of work. Uh, and so they, they therefore do experience uh, different elements uh, of the design and technology curriculum. I have to say that food technology is not something uh, is, is, is not one of those components uh, here. Uh, there's a question about how often do we mix with Highworth? Um, uh, not, not, not at all this year, you'll not be surprised uh, to know, uh, but we do, there are some joint uh, things that we uh, that we do with Highworth. Got, got, to be honest, it does tend to be uh, higher up uh, in the school. Uh, occasionally we have some joint lessons um, and some sort of joint extracurricular things uh, that would tend to be higher up uh, in the school, uh, but it is certainly something that we'll be looking uh, to restart again uh, come the new academic year. Somebody has asked about the, the two week timetable and will it always rotate from week one to week two? Um, we actually call them week A and week B, uh, <laughs> just for, for want of a name. But, um, and does it always follow that if we break up in for Christmas and it's week A, will it follow that January will be week two, week B? Um, not every single time would it follow that because sometimes we might find that um, a certain number of Fridays on a week B have, have been hit by um, being part of that holiday. So we might alter it, but we, we make very clear and publicise it in our weekly uh, diary to the boys um, and, and it's on the calendar as well, which is a week A and which is a week B. So it, it should be fairly uh, straightforward to, to keep track of that. Um, and the boys, if they do have um, the um, Satchel One app as well, their timetable is is on there as well as receiving the homework that way. So if you've got the Satchel One on, on your laptop or, or computer at home or, or on, on their, their device, it shows their timetable. Um, so it's, it's difficult for them to make the mistake of which is week A and which is week B. Uh, there's a question about COVID willing, will children get allocated a buddy to support them around the school in the early days? Um, uh, not so much perhaps a buddy as such, but we will have, um, we will be looking to uh, link older students with form groups. Now they wouldn't necessarily uh, follow them around school uh, lesson by lesson, but they would uh, be a kind of regular, uh, you know, sort of coming into the form group session uh, to answer questions and so forth, uh, you know, and to give them a kind of, a, you know, an idea and a perspective uh, from an older student. Question about uh, the uh, the additional um, provision that we'll be doing on the 2nd of September for our students with, uh, we're, 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 we're in terms of SEN. Um, and, and yes, it is, Mr. Utting will be working through that 
uh, and contacting parents uh, this side of the break, uh, you know, to 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 discuss uh, the arrangements for that day. And I'd add to that as well. If if you're concerned that your son is particularly nervous or, or feels feels vulnerable about about joining the, a, a new big school, um, if you want to get in touch with Mr. Utting or, or Mrs. Parsonage um, and and request that they come in on, on that day, um, obviously we, we can have a, a conversation about that. Um, it's, it is clearly it is for um, a smaller group of students, so definitely not not for everybody. Uh, there's a question about whether co-parents will both receive a pack. I'll, I'll, I'd, I'd have to be honest, I will need to check that. Um, and I think the I, I think the key uh, would be uh, if, if you require an additional um, uh, pack that, that hasn't been sent, then please do email us at information at NKS. Uh, .kent.sch.uk and then we can make sure that we get any additional packs um, sent out to you. Regarding prior language um, experience, whether it's French or Spanish, uh, before joining the school, that no uh, absolute necessity for your son to have, have done uh, studied French or Spanish b before they join us um, and it, it will be starting at, at a good basic level. Clearly some of the boys will have had good experience and, and with far more um, knowledgeable and, and better better capable in those various languages. Um, so yeah, no no experience is needed. Um, can they use the library from ATM? When they when they come into the school, ATM, the, the, the gates open and they can come in. Yes, library is one of the places they can go to. Uh, there's a question about the uh, the login on for Satchel One. Um, so the, the please be reassured that the, the information that will go out about that really is uh, straightforward. It will be for you know for the students. It will be in relation to their school, uh, their school email account, uh, and then parents will be sent information uh, as well about how they can log on and access it um, as well. There's a question about the uh, the canteen being open from uh, eight a.m. Uh, for breakfast type bits, and again, that's a yet another element that we've had to not been able to do this year that we very much hope. Uh, that we're able to do uh, next year so that there will be an opportunity for students to get uh, a kind of breakfast type snack when they arrive. Uh, and yes, uh, the, funnily enough, the next question is about vegetarian uh, and vegan options uh, in the canteen. And yes, they are. Yes, there are. And that's that's clearly that's clearly marked. We've had a, a few questions about devices um, and, and computing um, and, and what the requirements are. Um, I've just been reminded there is a, uh, a, a sheet in the pack that you'll be re, uh, receiving that, 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 that details information about the, this um, and also provides a link to a, a set of quick start videos for students to use that will help them with some of our systems and passwords and things like that. So there's, um, yeah, you'll, you'll receive a bit more information about that as well. Uh, going back to the canteen, uh, do, is there a good menu for allergies uh, such as dairy free? Um, I mean, I am when I do lunch duty, I am conscious that um, allergy information is is you know is is, is clearly signposted, uh, and so hopefully that that is as clear as possible. Uh, and hopefully, you know, whether or not that's a good menu, uh, hopefully there will be something um, that you know that. That, that, that meets those requirements if, if, if students have an allergy and is also something they like uh, and, and, and is tasty in that regard. Also with the canteen, uh, free school meals. Um, if, you, if you're uh, eligible for those, you apply for, the, for that through the, the KCC uh, website um, and then your son's account um, and their, their thumbprint is logged with that information um, so they can simply get their meal go to the the, uh, the the paying desk and pay for it on their thumb and it, it registers it, it take it sorts it out using the the free school free school meals paying system a couple of extracurricular type questions uh, somebody asking whether the school has got a swimming pool uh, the, the, the the irony of this is that mr hoyt and i are sat in his office at the moment and out of the window uh, we can see uh, the i'm afraid disused swimming pool uh, that went out of use some years ago. So unfortunately, we don't have uh, a swimming pool in use. Um, there's uh, still an extracurricular question about music groups. Uh, music is uh, one of the things actually that we have been really pleased with. It was one of the first extracurricular things that we were able to get going uh, again this year, and we hope that that continues to go uh, from strength to strength. And in the past, uh, you know, the, 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 and even this year, there's been a number of kind of orchestral groups 
uh, and musical groups that, uh, that, that that have taken place this year. And I know that in the past, uh, you know, others have uh, you know, existed as well. And, you know, often it depends on there being students that want to uh, you know, get together and perform and practice a, a particular type of music. With regard to what sorts of football boots they need, uh, they certainly will need football boots and, th and there'll be boots for uh, playing on grass. Uh, so we, we do football and rugby in, in the first couple of terms um, and yes they need, need boots for that. For football they also uh, need shin pads um, and for rugby we recommend that, that they wear uh, a gun shield as well. This question again still on extracurricular um, about the Duke of Edinburgh awards and that is something uh, that is um, offered and open to the boys uh, as they go from year nine into year 10. And we have a significant number of students uh, that complete that all the way through uh, to, to including the Gold Award. Uh, there's a particular question there about support available at the school uh, for young carers. Uh, and, 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 and yes, that absolutely is the case. Uh, and we would look to make sure uh, that that is bespoke uh, and responding to and supporting the particular needs. Uh, and that is certainly something that um, I would urge anybody uh, you know, in, in that respect, to get in contact with the school um, uh, and, and send that in uh, to information at nks.kent.sch.uk uh, and then we'll follow up on that very quickly. Uh, another question about lateral, uh, lateral flow tests uh, and again, I don't know whether we covered that earlier with, or whether that's subsequent to that question. We don't yet know what the expectation uh, will be in terms of lateral flow tests uh, in, in, in September. We await uh, we await the government guidance um, on that. We don't have a, a specific, specific colour of coat or bag that the boys uh, must wear. Um, we, we, we expect them to be fit for purpose. We expect them to be um, not in, in any way that's going to cause an issue to anybody else. We don't really know what that might be, but um, no, there's no specific colours for coats and bags. Um, yes, there is um, both parents' uh, email addresses uh, can and will be added uh, for, to the communication uh, and there's, there, 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 there'll be a form that you will um, have been asked to fill in um, uh, you know, detailing that um, in, in terms of accepting your son's place and there's also an additional form that we will send out in September uh, for data checking to make sure that we've got the right uh, parental uh, mobile numbers and email contacts um, and so that you know going forward then um, you know routinely the right parents uh, will be sent the, 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 the correct information. Question says at lunch do they mix and play with their form or entire year? Well this year it has been just with their form and um, moving forward we are hoping that with the restrictions lifted they will be able to mix with their their entire year group at break and lunchtime and actually also wider than that we, we, we do feel it, it's healthy for them to be able to mix across different year groups as well uh, and that will be possible too. Um, we will be having some areas that are designated indoor and outdoor for specific year groups but there is the, the facility for them to be in areas where they are mixing with some of the older boys as well. There's a question uh, there about how many subjects do the boys study that have homework. Um, it's, it, it, it's nearly all of them um, so there wouldn't be homework in PE. No. Uh, there wouldn't be, um, but there might be the occasional homework uh, in personal development, uh, but then across the range of subjects you would expect there to be uh, regular homework uh, you know, on, on, on that weekly basis. Um, in terms of the specific detail about trips abroad, how often and where, um, got to be honest it varies and particularly post uh, you know, po po post COVID we might have to revisit some of our uh, European trips, but in the past uh, there's been an annual trip to Spain at the end of year eight, there's been uh, science trips uh, to, uh, to, to Euro Disney, uh, there's been classics trips, obviously that's a little further down the school, uh, to, uh, to Rome and Athens, uh, geography do a number of uh, sort of you know, field work related trips uh, and so forth and you know, in terms of the specific, specific details um, then hopefully that will become evident next year when we can really return uh, to doing the, uh, the full range of trips and visits. Uh, we've got a question about how about music lessons uh, music lessons, yes, music's on the curriculum, so they all all study music. But if that question referred to specifically musical instruments, um, if your your son um, is currently playing uh, a musical instrument and wants to continue with it, then that that is available through the school, and the music department would uh, give information about that in September. And it, uh, if your boy, your son, doesn't currently 
uh, play an instrument but wants to, to learn, that's an option as well. And it, those lessons do take place um, during other school lesson times because um, we obviously can't fit them all in at break times, lunch times and after school because um, we've got lots of boys doing them. So they, they are on a rolling programme, so it doesn't always hit the same lesson. Um, so they might have a lesson, uh, whether it's for playing the drums, the trumpet or what have you. Um, and one week, week it might list, miss lesson one on a Monday and the next it might miss lesson two on a Tuesday. Um, so to avoid it always constantly hitting the same lesson. But those sorts of things are available and, and more information will come in, in September from the music department. Uh, there's a question asking whether this uh, session is, is is being recorded. Uh, yeah, yes, yes, it is being recorded, um, and 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 we will be sharing the link uh, for that and all the presentations uh, that have been in and around both this evening's session and the one that we did uh, with the students earlier. Uh, there's a question uh, about uh, is there a first aider or school nurse on the site? Uh, yes, we have a we have a dedicated first aider who's our kind of principal first aider. Uh, and we have a, a, a number of other staff uh, across and around the school that are trained uh, first aiders as well. So uh, the, 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 there's provision through the day uh, and there's a kind of go to place uh, when on those occasions where, where students are feeling unwell. Sports activities run during lunchtime. Yes, that is, is something that we, we do do um, for a variety of sports at various times. Um, we, we have a very active set of fixtures for, for PE um, running every week, varying on the, the different seasons and the different sports. Um, and for many of those, the PE department will put on um, practice sessions, recreational sessions. Um, we have some at the moment going for athletics before school, lunchtime and after school. Um, it varies from sport to sport and the commitments of the PE staff at the time. Uh, there's a particular question about whether we have a halal option uh, at lunch uh, and that is something that I will uh, look into uh, and communicate in terms of uh, to, to, to parents um, because if, 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 if we haven't I'd like to think that it is something that we can very quickly uh, make sure that that provision is there. Question about sports teams and is there a possibility to join for anybody or do just the best few boys be chosen? Um, obviously, you, your, your son's coming to a, a much bigger school than they've, they've been used to um, and getting into the, the sports teams, the, the, the first team is very competitive and, and with uh, around 200 boys in a year group, um, obviously not everyone's going to be able to, able to play. Uh, just to, to highlight this to you, um, when, when we have the year seven football trials, I think in the last few years we get, we get sort of 80 or 90 boys turn up to that. Um, and we want to accommodate as many of them as possible. So we, yes, we have an A team, a B team and sometimes a C team as well. But also for those students um, who may not be able to get into the school team for whatever sport it is, this, this is one of the primary um, reasons for us having a, a good house system. Um, so they may not represent the school, but they may well be able to partake in our house competitions, which we run for most sports throughout the year. So there's the opportunity for people to take part there. Uh, there's a question about uh, uh, residential address changing uh, and, and that is something that if you are uh, changing your address, particularly uh, in the weeks and months to come before September, uh, then again, that's something that I would ask you uh, to email into information at nks.kent.sch.uk so that we can make sure that we can log that uh, and amend our records. There's a question about the login information for Satchel 1. Uh, and that will follow and that will be uh, at the start of term uh, in September so that the, uh, the so it linked to that the work that we're asking students to engage with um, over the summer that will be in the in the hard copy uh, packs um, that, that you'll be receiving we don't and we won't have uh, set up for students to log in and use such a one uh, until September. Regarding students bringing in and using iPads in school and during lessons um, typically, we, we'd want the boys to, to follow the, the same way of, of working that works appropriately for them. Um, and in the main, most work done in, in academic lessons will be in, in uh, exercise books. But if your son has, has specific needs um, as, as to why they, they need to be using uh, some form of um, computer or, or technology, then yet we absolutely can accommodate that as well. It's a question about language choice. Um, I mean, it is our, it is our hope. Uh, that students will progress with the language that they've been allocated uh, all of the way through. Uh, but again, if, if there is a particular concern uh, there, I would ask you to email 
uh, and again at the risk of repeating myself, uh, information at nks.kent.sch.uk. But, but importantly, so that we can follow up and respond to any individual uh, or particular uh, queries. Uh, there's another question there about how students are supported if they are struggling uh, in, a, in a particular subject and that's where uh, in particular our achievement leader role uh, comes in. We have uh, an achievement leader linked with each year group in year seven that will be uh, Mr Trafford and Mr Trafford pays very close attention uh, to the monitoring data uh, that, that, that comes through the year uh, and he uses that information to identify uh, where students may be struggling uh, and then liaises with uh, the, 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 the subject teacher uh, and, and, and works with the student and, and liaises with the parents uh, to address whatever those issues might be. Uh, and that might also be the case, uh, you know, as opposed to waiting for uh, monitoring data to raise a concern, you know, it might be that the, 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 the subject teacher contacts Mr Trafford and says, I'm a little bit worried about uh, you know the progress that um, you know that the, the, the Billy is making um, over this last few weeks, and then that would trigger again a very similar conversation uh, between the member of staff, the student, and the family, and the achievement leader um, as to what is going on there and how best we can uh, intervene and support. There are, are roughly thirty students in each form. Some have um, a little bit less than that. Um, and in answer to the question, how were the form groups decided? That's based on quite a lot of information that we've, we've gathered over the, the last few months, some of which will have come directly from you as parents and, and links to, to the language choice that you, you told us about. Um, but also we, we've taken information from yourselves from, and from the primary schools as well, uh, where they've guided us as to what are particularly strong um, groups of students that would work well together and, and others where we, we perhaps it's better to, to, to split people up. Um, generally, we, we have, um, we spread, if, if there's a, a lot of boys who come from one particular primary school, we, we would want to share them out across the, the various different forms. Many students are, are sometimes one or maybe just what, the only one or the only one or two who have come from their primary school. So many boys start in a form um, where, they, where they haven't don't know anybody um, and it, this really encourages them to make friends and it, it, we, we want to get a good balance in all of our forms. Um, so it's based on, on a range of things really. So on, on that first day, uh, the students should just come in through the main gate if they're arriving by foot uh, or coming up one of the buses. Um, and, and, and even actually on that first day, if they arrive by bike, it's probably uh, sim simpler and more straightforward that they come in that main gate because it won't be uh, tremendously busy as it would be uh, with, 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 with the whole school. Uh, and then there'll be lots of us about uh, to direct them to, uh, to, to through, through past main reception uh, to, to the main hall. Um, there's, so that's the, uh, the first day. Uh, there's a question about how the boys are addressed. Um, as soon as teachers get to know them, uh, they learn the names pretty quickly, I think. Uh, and it is, you know, generally, you know, it is the case uh, that, you know, that the students are um, spoken to uh, by, by their first name once, we, once we've got to know them. Question on uniform about school uh, jumpers and uh, yeah, the two colours are allowed, black or grey, and I wouldn't, uh, there's, neither has a majority. You see plenty of boys wearing black ones, plenty of wearing grey ones, but it is only those two colours, please. Uh, there's a question about the absence policy. Uh, and, and, I mean, the key thing about absence is that we ask you to contact us as soon as possible um, about any absence so that we can record it accordingly. Uh, and if it's going to be a lengthy absence that we can uh, take, take whatever steps uh, are needed to, to support through any lengthier absence. Uh, our student support managers uh, are the first point of contact uh, with regard uh, with regard to any absence. There's a question about the equestrian club, um, which is uh, something that uh, started with a very small number uh, of students. And again, that is um, something that started just before lockdown and we just started to uh, develop that. Um, and it is something uh, that we uh, we have a linked member of staff uh, who coordinates uh, with, a, with, with, with a parent uh, who then manages that uh, outside of school. So the, the linked member of staff uh, was, uh, was uh, Dr O'Neill uh, and again perhaps I, I wouldn't imagine there's many uh, inquiring about equestrian uh, but if you email into school information at nks.kent.sch.uk uh, then again hopefully that is something that we will be uh, getting back up and running uh, come September. 
There's, there's a question about el eligibility for free school meals. That's something that's it's actually not it's not decided by the school. It's something um, parents need to apply to, to KCC for, uh, and they can pass the information to us. So again, on the KCC website, free school meals, um, but it, and you, you find information about that there. Uh, there's a there's a question about uh, divorced and separated parents both receiving school emails. Um, that will be the case going forward because of the particular um, uh, challenges setting this up. I, I, I know that that won't have been the case uh, for this particular event. But once we've completed all of the uploading of the information that is on the uh, on the on the forms that you have sent in, and that's on our system from the first of September, then that will be the case uh, going forward from September. Question about inter-school sports. Um, yes, it's primarily on on weekdays um, after school, uh, but particularly in the summer with cricket fixtures, they take a little bit longer. Regularly, cricket fixtures take place on a Saturday morning, and it, it does depend on on which other schools um, we are, are competing with. Uh, and, and throughout the the rest of the other sports, other seasons, some of, some of the other sports might happen on a Saturday morning, but in the main, they are after school on a weekday. It's a question about music uh, instrument sessions. Uh, so these are only so these are additional um, you know, musical instrument tuition uh, for students outside of their timetable lessons uh, for which a payment would normally uh, be, be in place, uh, with the exception being uh, for uh, pupil premium students uh, where we would be uh, catering for that uh, with, with the pupil premium. Uh, there's, there's another question um, about gauging timing when dropping uh, students off in the morning. Is there a lot of traffic at dropping off and collecting? Uh, and, and the honest answer is yes, there can be. Um, and it doesn't take much in terms of uh, any issues on the M20 or any issues in town. Um, are, and there are those occasions when that does happen and um, Hyde Road does kind of lock up for a little, uh, uh, can lock up for a little time. Um, and I think that's but that's something that I think you know, I'm sure that you will work out in those first uh, couple of weeks. So kind of, you know, a, a, what, what's a good, convenient uh, and sensible drop off time for you? Um, and, and, and that will work 99 percent of the time. But there will be the odd occasion uh, when things do get snarled up. Uh, there's, there, there's a question about uh, students being entitled to religious holidays. And, and yes, absolutely, that's the case. Uh, and, and those those absences are requested. Uh, in the normal way that any absence is requested, uh, but uh, so so, but 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 ob observance of religious holidays is an absence that will be authorised. We have a question about uh, whether we're going to have a, 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 a taster of the school lunches on the transition day. Um, in the past, when the taster days have been in the summer, so today and, and tomorrow, as we were hoping for, where our, our canteen has provided. Um, free school meal, free meals for people and um, so they can get a, a taste. We, we haven't arranged this with our, our, our canteen service for um, the 3rd of September, but it's something we will we'll look at and we'll let you know. Uh, there's a specific question about um, how to buy the art products, uh, which I'm not 100% sure of. And if that's not in the information uh, that has already come to you or comes over the next day or so, uh, then again, uh, please do email in so that we can uh, address that. And that email for any queries that we've not been able to, uh, that we haven't covered tonight or that emerge um, over the next uh, the few weeks and months, that email address is information at NKS dot kent dot sch dot uk uh, and you know that that's a central email but it does it is monitored through the day and those emails are then passed on very quickly uh, to people that follow up uh, with that with those specifics question about whether the boys are, are at similar academic level going into year seven all our forms are, are mixed forms mixed ability um, and so that there isn't any particular form who scored particularly highly in the Kent test or in another form that, that scored low in the Kent test. They're all completely mixed up. Uh, there's a very particular question about preference for the type of pen that they will be using for writing. Again, there, there, there will be um, you know, a range of pens that students use. I don't think there is a, um, you know, a preference um, you know, other than whatever pen enables your son to write as neatly and as clearly uh, as possible. You know, I've, I've got a year nine group. Uh, and I, I mark work that's in biro, uh, in uh, kind of fi you know uh, fine tip uh, pen, uh, and I think I've even got one or two students that that use uh, that use fountain pens. 
Um, but uh, you know, the, 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 we don't specify uh, the type of pen. The most important thing is that it's a pen that uh, you know that, that the students feel comfortable with, uh, and hopefully enables them to write as clearly and as neatly as possible. Uh, there's a question about Friday the third. Do we drop them outside uh, of, of of the school gates? Uh, yes, and hopefully Friday the third um, won't be as busy um, as it will be the following week when the whole school is in, and there will be plenty of us around uh, to welcome your sons, to reassure them, uh, and 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 perhaps yourselves uh, as well. We very much, uh, very much are looking uh, looking forward to that. Uh, there's a question about uh, beyond French and Spanish. Um, are there opportunities to learn other languages? Uh, the examples given is uh, is Chinese. Uh, we, we we don't we, we we aren't doing anything in that regard at the moment. It is something that we've done in the past, uh, and, and 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 that's not to say that it is something that we might not do again in the future. Uh, the question now asking about what time the school gates open, um, which is eight o'clock in the morning, and I think we have got through. Um, the uh, the questions there are no more uh, appearing. Um, I do hope um, that we answer those questions. Uh, we've certainly tried to answer them as best and as comprehensively as we can, and I hope uh, that that gives you the information uh, that you need uh, and that that is reassuring. Um, as I, as I've said on a number of occasions, if you've got specific questions. Uh, in relation to uh, that are particular to your son, or there are questions that emerge over the days and weeks to come uh, that you that, that, that you want us to respond to, uh, then that go to email address that will be picked up very quickly uh, is information at nks.kent.sch.uk. And along along with that, I know as was the case last summer, um, it's going to be a busy summer uh, for us as a school. Uh, in terms of uh, communicating arrangements for September because we will be doing some more work uh, on our final arrangements for September. So I will be including you on emails that, uh, that, that I will be sending out detailing our arrangements uh, for, uh, for September. Just uh, um, I think one of the final questions come in, do parents get notified if their son's held behind for a detention? If that is an unfortunate event has happened and they've got a detention, yes, we would uh, be getting contact with you uh, in advance of when that detention is going to be. I think we are there with no more questions uh, appearing. Uh, it looks like we've um, uh, we, we've certainly set a record, I think, for the number of questions that we've answered uh, in one of these sessions. It looks to be well over 100. Uh, so I do hope that within that uh, we, we, we've covered those queries. Uh, but, but doubtless there will be others in the days and weeks to come. Uh, but do keep in contact with us. Uh, and but, you know, finally, um, it, it, thank you for, for, for joining us this evening and for bearing with us and any technical glitches, um, which has been a great uh, the technology has been a great help over the last year, 18 months, uh, but I have to say I really am looking forward to seeing people uh, in person and having these conversations in person uh, and I very much hope that that's the case uh, in September. Uh, so thank you very much for joining us uh, this evening. Uh, enjoy the rest of the evening uh, and indeed the summer and we look forward to seeing uh, your sons and meeting you uh, in the new academic year. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye bye.